Hey singers, I'm Justin Stoney, the founder of New York Vocal Coaching, welcoming you to episode five of Voice Lessons Online, the show where passionate voice teachers from all over the world help us learn from some of the greatest singers of all time. Today we're studying a singer who will, who will rock you. A big disgrace, waving your banner all over the place. Farouk Bulsara was the original lead singer of the rock band Queen. He was known for his massive vocal range, playful theatricality, and unending creativity. Interesting that he chose the stage name Freddie Mercury because mercurial or mercury means sudden or unpredictable changes of mood or mind. And one thing's for sure, Freddie was the epitome of unpredictable. Let's hear more about Freddie's genius from our team of experts. First, David McCall is here to tell us about compression power and the illusion of thickness. Thanks, Justin. David here. Freddie Mercury's voice is a powerhouse of explosive strength and stamina. How did he do it? Freddie uses compression power to create the illusion of vocal thickness. And when I say thickness, I mean a thick sound dragging the speaking voice higher into what would be a lighter register, AKA belting. It's like a yell. You drag a register up to give yourself a power boost, but it can start to feel heavy, too thick and tough to tune after a little while. Luckily for us, there is another way to gain power and Freddie is a top notch example of creating the illusion of thickness. It's not coming from dragging his chest voice up all the way. No, he's using compression power to produce the illusion. Now, compression is the degree to which we press our vocal folds together. We can have minimal loose compression, tight compression, and anything in between. The combination of compression power on long, leaner vocal folds can produce a sound so similar to a chesty belt that we could easily mistake the two, and that's the idea. Can you hear it? That's some serious compression power coming from lean vocal folds. His voice is ringing and the volume is consistent. If he was using a big, thick belt, the volume would spike and he'd be pulling far, far away from the microphone. So there you go. Use more compression power instead of a heavy belt. Back to you, Justin. Awesome, good sir. Next, Julie Rumert has some fascinating insights on Freddie's vibrato. My name is Julie Rummert, and today we will be talking about a force of nature, the most animated singer of the 20th century, non-human, the beast of rock, the greatest genius. All names that today's singer have been named while alive and even after his death. Freddie Mercury. Known all over the world for his unique sound, incredible vocal range, and acoustic features beyond belief. We are so lucky to have had his voice. In fact, it was so special that many science studies have been made to determine just how special his sound was. What the scientists found when looking into this acoustic wonder was a physical phenomenon called subharmonics. This is seen in a more extreme way in Chauvin throat singing, where it is not just the vocal folds that vibrate, but also the little pair of tissue called ventricular folds or false folds. We normally do not use the ventricular folds when we speak, but they're often used by singers for rasp and distortion. An analysis of 240 sustained notes from 21 recordings a cappella with Freddie Mercury revealed a surprisingly high fundamental frequency modulation rate, vibrato of 7.0 Hertz, reaching the range of vocal tremor due to the involvement of the false folds. 
Most pop rock singers maintain a regular vibrato, whilst his was more irregular and unusually fast, which explained why the modulation rate was so fast. He created a very special acoustic singing fingerprint. Let's hear an example of the ventricular folds with this fast vibrato. I have no heart, I'm cold inside, I have no real intent. Unbelievable, don't you think? I work with a lot of my students to find their unique sound, their special vocal fingerprint, and hope you will enjoy listening to Freddie Mercury's voice that is so remarkable while you're finding your own. Amazing, Julie. Zach Bradford, what about Freddie's belting? Hi, I'm Zach, and I'm excited to be speaking to you about Freddie Mercury and his use of resonance in belting. I want to break down two examples from the song Somebody to Love, where Freddie masterfully uses resonance strategies to achieve vocal power and freedom on his money notes. For more info on what we will be discussing, I highly recommend checking out episode 117 of Voice Lessons to the World. Before we break it down, let's listen to this clip. I work, they work hard. every day of my life. I work till I ache my bones at the end. At the end of the day, I take home my The first example of a resonant strategy occurs on the lyric all. The note is B flat 4. I work hard every day of my life. I work till I ache my bones at the end. I take home my heart and play all on my own. I go As we can see, it is the third harmonic that is the most prominent in the sound spectrum while Freddie is singing the word all. So we can make an educated guess that it is his second formant giving rise to the third harmonic in this instance. The next example of a resonant strategy occurs on the word love. On the first part of the lyric, love, Freddie sustains an A flat 4 on an R vowel. At this point, the second and third harmonic are about equal in energy, so no clear resonance strategy. However, as he slides up to the B flat 4 on the same lyric, he modifies the vowel by brightening the R vowel. This facilitates a clear boost of the second harmonic in the sound spectrum. So we can make another educated guess that at this point, Freddie's First foreman is giving rise to his second harmonic. So what can we learn from this? Perhaps this highlights the fact that there is more than one way to belt, and that belting need not be effortful, particularly if we take advantage of resonance. I suggest watching and listening to your favorite belters. Pay attention to how they shape and color their vowels to achieve free and powerful money notes. Awesome. Now, Christy Bissell, tell us about Freddie's dynamics. Let's talk dynamics. You've probably seen it in your sheet music, crescendos, day crescendos. Maybe you've studied music your whole life and you've always been told that dynamics are very important. Or maybe you just love music. You listen to it all the time. You don't know all the technical stuff, but you know that you feel things when you listen to it. And I certainly feel things when I listen to Freddie Mercury sing Love of My Life. But why? Why do I feel things when I listen to the song? Why do you feel things when you're listening to a singer sing something? I think that one of the biggest contributions of this is dynamics. So let's listen together to Freddie sing Love of My Life. 
is this impressive, very cool to listen to, but he's furthering the story, the love story that he's telling. And it's not just any love story, this is the love of his life. He's talking about all these emotions and we're getting that, not just by the lyrics, but the sound. And I do believe that the lyrics are giving that information of where those dynamics should be. So the first bit of advice is pick those lyrics that stick out to you, that you're like, yes, that's important. Maybe use a dynamic on that. Also, you can use the exercise mezza de voce. You can start on one small note, uh, or opposite, uh, or do the first line of the chorus, love of my life. It is so fun to do. You have to try it. And it doesn't have to be with this song, it can be with any song, but see if it helps you to tell a story more. Thanks, Christy, and thanks to all our experts. I'm gonna share what I've learned from Freddie in a moment, but first, here are ways to add a little rhapsody to your vocal journey. To get to know our team of experts, please visit us at voicelessonsonline.com. Sing Like Never Before is the new book by Justin Stoney. Get ready for a singing book that is truly like no other. For more information, visit singlikeneverbefore.com. If you'd like a vocal course that you can do at home, check out the Voice Lessons to the World Vocal Course. This 12-part program takes you on a singing journey from beginner to master level vocal exercises. You can find it at voicelessonstotheworld.com. Or if you'd like free vocal tips sent to you each day, sign up at dailyvocaltips.com. You want to know something that almost nobody likes? Being pigeonholed. You know the feeling, right? When people say, aha, I've got you figured out. You're a musical theater singer, you can't sing rock. Or, you're a pop singer, you can't sing opera. Have you ever been pigeonholed like that? Well, then Freddie can help you. He'll show you how to look at the haters, the doubters, and the close-minded and say, After all, can a rock singer be as theatrical as a musical theater performer? Freddie? Can classical and operatic elements be added to a rock style? Hmm. And really, aren't we free to do anything the spirit leads us to do? Freddie Mercury defied expectations by not having a signature sound, but instead by inhabiting each song as though it was its own visceral human experience. Freddie once said, I love the fact that I can make people happy in any form, even if it's just for an hour of their lives, if I can make them lucky or make them feel good or bring a smile to a sour face, that to me is worthwhile. Yes, it is, Freddie. And you are the champion, my friend. 
We'll see you next time for more voice lessons online. <laughs>